mankind has spent um, a long time forgetting who they are. They strive and work continually. The mind is just churning and discursive thoughts taking them to many places everywhere but actually being present. And I get asked often, uh, lots and lots of times, how do I deal with my mind? How do I fix the mind? How do I change it? How do I renew the mind? And so it reminded me of a little story that I've been telling for quite some time. It's a story about a dog believing that it's a squirrel. This dog has spent its entire life growing up in a squirrel family. And it has been working diligently with all of its might trying to be a good squirrel. It's climbing trees and it's digging holes in the ground and burying acorns. It's working very hard to become a squirrel. But no matter how much it's tried, The dog just simply cannot climb the trees and can't sit in the squirrel's nests and jump from branch to branch like his squirrel brothers and sisters. And the the dog is trying and trying and trying to believe even harder than it did before. The dog thinks to itself, if I just believe more, then I could be a good squirrel. One day, as the dog is trying to climb the tree, it gets so frustrated that it comes to the end of itself. And in that moment, it has a realization, a moment of awakening. And the dog realizes in this moment that it is not a squirrel, but that it is a dog. And in that moment, all the frustration that it has experienced in trying to climb the trees and trying to be a squirrel, all of the frustration, all of the aggravation, all of the drama that was associated with this comes to an end. And in this one moment of realization, for the first time, In this dog's life, it is realized it is a dog. And that the idea of it being a squirrel was nothing more than an illusion, nothing more than a figment of its imagination, nothing more than an identity. But when it let go of its identity, it was able to realize the truth of what it was. This sounds familiar to you because... Every man, woman, and child, every one of us on the journey to awakening, on this journey of enlightenment, has at some point identified in something that we are not. We've believed that we were just a mere human being. We believed that we were a son of God, but that being a son of God required a lot of work. We associated being a son of God with maybe a religious belief, like Christianity or Hinduism or Judaism. And along the way, stress and frustration, aggravation accumulated, continued to pile up. And the more information we got about what it looked like to be this this God, to be this thing that we were not. We were trying so hard to be this thing. You see, a dog, believing it's a squirrel, will work all of its life to be a squirrel. The moment it realizes it's a dog, it's set free. Humanity has been spoon-fed this lie that we are not like God. 
And I've got good news for you. You're not like God because of what you believe. You're not like God because of all the work that you've put in. You're like God despite what you believe. And you are just like God despite the amount of work that you've put in, the amount of effort that you've put in to being good, to being righteous. It doesn't matter whether what label you would put on that old self. The moment you realize that you are not a human being, you're not just this human, this temporal being, but you are a God. In that one moment, everything changes. And all the frustration and all the aggravation and all those things seem to melt away. And you're left with the simplicity and the stillness. You're left with abiding peace because this is what you are. Who am I? What is my purpose? Is there more to life than this? Ecstasis Institute is relaunching this fall, providing students with the opportunity to explore the depths of who they truly are. An in-person or online institute where people of all backgrounds come to discover truth beyond any religion or philosophy. Awaken with us to your true divine purpose, being. See your vastness that you are both nothing and everything, the Christ. Realize that you are life itself, one with God, one with all things. We offer three paths of study with Silas Valentine, a mystic teacher and mentor who for the past 20 years has been guiding students into their awakening. Choose from one of two general studies paths, or if you really desire to dive deep, Participate in the mentorship path where you will receive one-on-one -on -one guidance and mentoring from Silas as well as weekly classes. To find out more information on how you can participate, go to ecstasisinstitute.org. Your awakening is waiting.